What's up sub fans around the world and welcome back to another video. So in my last video I said that we are not going to work on the Turbo X but we are going to focus on the rear wheel drive build. Well I lied. So now it's time for another job for the Turbo X. Because as soon as I bought the car I, will, I bought it in Stockholm and I didn't have of course we did a test drive and everything felt kind of okay. I did some full gear pulls and it the car was basically 100% stock so everything worked out. Uh, I could feel a little bit of vibrations but nothing too bad. It could just be the road or whatever. So when I got home uh, like three days after I bought the car I did a stage one tune. So we upped the power to 300 horsepower and like 500 newton meters of torque. And when I went out and did a third gear pull, it started to like stutter when it was accelerating. And my first thought was, oh, it's misfiring because the the coil packs and the, and. The, the spark plugs is a common thing on the V6, so I did change all of them because some of them were really old. Either way, I had the same problem afterwards and I started to get more and more vibrations running like 40 to 60 kilometers per hour. And it didn't matter what gear I was using, second, third or fourth. It, I still had the ground like vibrations and when I got up to higher speed it stopped or not stopped but it, it was toned down a lot so it, it was manageable but when I did the third gear pull it, and got boost pushing it really started to wobble like crazy and no engine lights or nothing so my thought was okay from the beginning it could be misfire still but it feels a little bit too rough to be misfiring and the vibrations start to get worse and worse so my conclusion was this that the prop shaft must be out of balance so I started searching well, we will just replace the, the drive shaft, some call it, but the prop shaft or propeller shaft is the correct mention for it. So let's go get another one. I will just buy a new one and couldn't find one in Sweden, couldn't find one in Europe, couldn't find one in the US. Totally out of sale in the whole world. So I reached out on Facebook and I managed to find one that has been on one of Saab's test cars. So it has done, not done very much many miles and it seems to be in pretty clean and in good working order. So today we will change the prop shaft and hope we get rid of the vibrations because that's one of those things that has been like itching me a little bit. I have not been 100% satisfied with the car because not being able to like do those full gear pulls is very limiting and that's not what you want from a car ownership. So let's take a look at this prop shaft that we got right here. So here we got the prop shaft in its entirety and these are the common ones to fail. These bushings and bearings tend to wear out over time and Saab has made like a special length and design on the prop shaft so it's only the prop shaft from the 9.3 that will fit no other GM brand shares the same prop shaft and on, on a common prop shaft like this one that I have from the Opel Omega, you see it has splines, so you can just separate it, you can change the bushing and bearing very easily. But from the Saab, it's just, it's manufactured like this, so everything sits together. So they say that this is not serviceable, 
there was one person that reached out to me and said there is a company in Poland that actually can rebuild this and I guess there are a few other companies that could do it as well but I don't know how much I will be filming because once again this car is in the way so I will be working outside on the street it's pretty nice weather today but I will be standing outside in the streets and it's really not that hard if you just get the car up in the air you have this T45 Torx that sits in the differential in the rear you have these holders or bearings bearing holder bushing holder that sit with 13 millimeter bolts you got two of these and in the front you just pry out the the axle you don't need to undo the bolts then you will drop out all the oil which is really unnecessary I saw one video on YouTube that did it that is completely wrong you just pry this out and install the new one and what is serviceable on these cars is this like CV joint so if this is leaking this could be replaced I will write the number down below because I have been look looking forward for it as well so I will just remove the other prop shaft and we will lay them side by side and we will see if we could see if something is terribly wrong on it so I got the old prop shaft out and it was quite easy the bolts came out really good I used an impact gun to get them out wasn't too bad but this stuck or was sitting you can see the little groove that I made right here that was how far into the like differential mount it was so I actually cut some grooves right here and used a flathead screwdriver so I could punch it in the right direction because otherwise it wouldn't have come out at all and I really couldn't tell if this prop shaft is shot or not I have seen some examples where where the bearings and the bushings has been totally worn out what I could find was this one was a little bit loose but actually not maybe not too bad but yeah this could definitely cause some issues but I don't know if I can tell the difference really or it might be something else but otherwise we will change this and hope for the best yeah took some time to get that out and I'm laying on the cold ground outside and the street is like covered with ice so my back is really cold right now but this car looks really good underneath and it wasn't too bad to get it out actually once it's just let go of that rear differential it was just a walk in the park to get it out so now I will reinstall the new one and let's hope for no more vibrations and I forgot to mention that they highly recommend that you replace these stretch bolts you can see that the old ones are rusty crusty and the new ones looks pretty new to me of course they could have been a little bit stretched but for now I will just reinstall them so the new one is installed what's important is that the rear bolts should be torqued down with 30 newton meters and when installing the front with the splines it's recommended that you use 
some type of wood to just gently knock it in you would be very tempted to just pull the whole axle but then you might be destroying something inside of the CV joint so just gently tap on the edge and you should be good to go so job done I don't know it took maybe one and a half hour would have gone in like 20 minutes if the rear wasn't so rusted in took some knocking to get it out what's left to do right now is to do the test drive and this is I don't know what, what I should say but could be good or maybe it's worse than it was before we will see okay fingers crossed let's hope that everything works out I said before I had like vibrations in like as low as 40 60 kilometers per hour this will be quite interesting but still not I hope it works This is the speed where it used to rattle quite a lot and I don't get the same feeling right now. I would say it's very stable. And you need to have in like consideration right now that we are running studded winter tires and the roads are, are not super smooth all the time so of course there will be a little bit of noises and just slight vibrations you will get all the time but when we get the temperature up a little bit and I make a pull it should definitely not feel like the prop shaft is coming into the car which it did before it was really annoying
far so good and these type of accelerations would have worked previously also so the real test will be when I floor it same feeling at all very 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 happy with that acceleration so probably I wouldn't have needed to change the, the coil packs and the spark plugs because the, the car was probably running quite okay as it was but the prop shaft was shot so that was the thing that was vibrating a lot and now it's not the same that worked out so good and I have not been able to like fully do this because yeah the, the car has not performed like this of course the tune has been there but since the vibrations come on you, you just let off the throttle and uh, reduce the speed The sound on this camera is definitely not the best so it it doesn't reduce like wind noises but we are running stock exhaust right now but we we still get pops and bangs on this car but it doesn't pop and bang that loud when the when the downpipe is original and the stock rear mufflers but you could definitely hear it when the when the car is really hot first time I have actually been able to do wide open throttle on like empty roads like this really really nice I'm so happy about this I, the, the annoying part is when I picked out the, the other prop shaft I couldn't really find what was the issue I couldn't see anything so that's a little bit annoying but still we have a working car and now I can focus on other things so that's really really nice but it was vibrating like yeah it felt like the car was going to break like any minute and it just kept getting worse and worse Let's see if we could get some of those pops. I don't think you really can hear it on this camera. save that for another video because I'm going to remove the first catalytic converter and replace the second one with a uh, hundred cells race catalytic converter so this car will be really making some noises but I'm just so happy that everything works right now
because you get that feeling when you buy a new car and everything is not 100% and you can't just you don't feel that that true happiness for the car I mean this is an amazing car so the the problem is it should just work a hundred percent otherwise it isn't that fantastic and the prop shaft on these cars are very very common it's like one of the most common things that break or you get problem with on these cars A rocket. Because by the time this car was sold, it was the most powerful Saab you could buy, and of course, it still is. It's the one, one of the most powerful Saabs ever sold and ever built from factory. The other cars that I could think of is like, of course, the, the OG95 Hirsch or Hirsch, which had 305 horsepower, but that doesn't really count as a factory car. I don't know. And uh, what else? Yeah, the new Turbo 6 NG95. Of course, that one has 300 horsepower from factory, but this one with 280 from factory and from 2008 it was the most powerful some outside clips of this car because the exhaust noise is just awesome so that's it for this video guys I'm super happy and stoked that everything worked out quite a hassle to change it but still not the biggest job in the world if the garage would have been available it would have been a lot easier but anyways managed to do it outside on the on the street and if you want to see in detail someone removing it you 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 could watch for example Kyle Pansis who has done this job previously and I watched that video so you can watch it too but anyways guys I hope this helps out if someone has the similar issue with vibrations and everything if you have any questions please leave a comment down below subscribe to the channel it means a lot to me and i will see you in the next one bye